so surgery is performed under general anesthesia you give a clamshell incision which starts from one axillary line under the breast across the sternum other under the opposite breast and ending at the other anterior axillary line and the chest gets opened like a copy book which gives us access to both the chest cavities and also to the heart because we need to cannulate aorta and the right atrium for the ecmo after the incision the lungs are mobilized on both the sides the bronchus is looped the pulmonary artery is looped and the superior and inferior pulmonary veins are looped all the adhesions are freed and the patient is put on central ecmo and most of the cardiac output is diverted to the ecmo you don't remove the lungs till such time that the lungs donor lungs have reached your or once the lungs have reached you do bench surgery separate the two lungs do the fine work and then whichever is the worse of the two lungs you take that lung out and then join that lung that side lung on that side bronchus anastomosis first pulmonary artery thereafter and the venous anastomosis at the last then the perfusion is started and the ventilation to that lung is also started at this time you reduce the ecmo flow thereafter you go to the opposite side again bronchus artery vein divided lung removed donor lung put in bronchus artery vein sutured and the blood supply to this lung is also restored at which time the ventilation to both the lungs has started and you start going down 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 on the ecmo maybe an hour of waiting time to gradually switch from ecmo to total lung support and thereafter you put chest tubes close the chest incision and shift the patient to the icu under ventilatory support